How's it going, everyone? Ever and give me another assigned episode with more Splitting Free on the Nintendo Switch and welcome to it. So, last time, because uh, we have uh, completed one of the end of the story where we uh, go and uh, check in with um, with Cuttlefish. But uh, it's a scene like there's like uh, no Marie or. Oh, what's her name? I mean, I keep forgetting her second name, but um, I think her name was Pearl. On, on that, actually, no, that's not Pearl. It's uh, Marie and some other girl named uh, Carrie. Okay, that is her name. Okay, so both two were just uh, cousins a while back since the first game. So, um, it seemed like um, Marie and Carrie were not in this game yet. I mean, in this uh, next story, I mean, we might as well see. So, if we go to the, to the menu, so we can go ahead and to select which, uh, whichever places we want to go. So, we got here the one that's called the Grisgo, General. Okay, so we got General. Well, that's new. So, we got Sue's, the Shoal, the Crater, the Cloven, headgear, weapons. Okay, so we're gonna check in with weapons. Okay, so we're gonna check in with uh, Sheldon because uh, we did increase a little by by getting all of those those uh, what to call it those licenses. Yeah, so we got one of those Sheldon licenses. Hello, hello. Let me guess that you're looking for some new weapons. You come to the right place. Hold the phone. Uh, what is that? I did not know you were a collector of a vintage of weapons. I must say it's a uh, fascinating, but you need something far fresher for the Splatlands. Of course, uh, before you uh, walk out of here with uh, something shiny and new, you're aware you'll need the correct uh, Sheldon license. Yes? Okay, well, I have one. And you can uh, get the Sheldon license to buy battling and leveling up or even uh, just uh, developing your skill by using a particular weapon a lot. Eh, you are surprised me yet again. Uh, you already uh, have at least uh, one gold Sheldon license. You are a true collector. In that case, I'm pleased to inform you that you'll be able to unlock a larger selection than usual right off for of the bat. Congratulations! I'm pleased to report that my, uh, my already a wide selection uh, has a w widened further yet. Take a look, I insist. Aha, you're ready to wield the splatter shot. A splatter shot is a beloved for its uh, ease of handling and, the, and high potential. It's the latest model of the uh, go to weapon. Paired with uh, such bombs, you have a wonderfully uh, stable. A loadout that allows you to respond to whatever the enemy throws at you. And let's not forget the uh, the Triz Trizuka special. Let's uh, one let one off the uh, leash at the uh, the right moment, and I guarantee you your opponent won't forget. Is uh, this a setup a little basic? Yes, uh, basically uh, one of the best setups uh, you can uh, have, Master. The uh, fundamental, and you'll become a force to be a uh, recon with. And that's not all. You're also ready for the uh, splat roller. The Splat Roller represents the, the roller class of weapons uh, that excel at closer combat and Inkin's turf. With uh, any uh, roller, you can uh, tap ZR to the flame angle or hold ZR down as you uh, run to the lay down a path of Inky goodness. Try using the curling bomber to the sneak up closer to an enemy and then push. Get him up with the other roller. It's oh, so satisfying. As an added strategic wrinkle, you have the, the big bobbler to the rally of your team into the front line at just the right moment. If you're new to the rollers, I can't recommend that there's a loadout enough. Who, who knows? Uh, maybe you'll become a roller for life. And that's not all, you're also ready for the splat charger. Uh, simply put, the splat charger is a charger type of weapon designed for a long range offense. Its operation is a standard hold, hold down Z to charge up ink. And releases you to fire it all out at once at infinite a long path in an instant. Ah, but the, here's the key difference of a flat charger can actually hold the charger for a short period while you swim. And tactically, as speaking, uh, that's a game and change in the vantage. And with a splat bomb to the flush out uh, hiding enemies and via the ink back up to the turn where the tables are invaders, the set is uh, impressively uh, well balanced. I recommend it for anyone who looking to eventually match the charger category of weapons. Okay, so it seems like that's all three of the weapons that we did learn. So we just uh, finished looking at the ammo knight for Sheldon. So we each go and select one of our of our weapons. So we only have one license. Okay, so you know what? I really like to, to go use the one that's called the splat roller. I really want to go and get better at using this one. So let's go ahead and and try pushing it for only one of the other uh, the license so you don't actually purchase any uh, coins anymore so you only use the licenses to the, the purchase more stuff whenever you go out so yeah let's go and equip that 
So I'll use that during battle later. So right now, let's just go back to square. And let's just uh, get back to touring around. So there's a, a lot to do around here, but just exploring. Oh, okay, so you know what? Uh, you don't have to look at that. I'm sorry. I, I had to go ahead and block that because that, that looks kind of... That looks kind of inappropriate. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and move around here in Splatville. So uh, it's like way too many people that are posting spoilers, which is which is not a good idea. So uh, so your best goal is to uh, to avoid people with spoilers. Whenever they just go drawing pictures or put words on it, I mean try to avoid spoilers whenever you play this game. All right, because there's like more, there's like a lot of people around the world that are going to spoiler for the whole fans. So uh, here we are moving back to, to the Splatlands. The Splatlands is where we are, right? Okay, so. It's a scene like we're back here in this dry land. So we got, it's a, a lot to do here because we, we did increase up to 691. So we just uh, finished on taking the, on the time to tour around at the, the ammo night. So it's the best of luck that we go ahead and continue on moving on to the next level while we step it up. So can we destroy that? Okay, what is this? So you got a decoration. So you're going to pick it up at the, uh, the lobby at terminal. And it's used to decorate your locker. Ooh, okay. So hey, look like you found a loot that anchor. Anytime you find one of these bows, just flat it up. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this uh, small fry advantage so we can go and have it go and chow down all of this uh, fun balls so that we get through. Careful here, it's a long way down and one falls a step out could have sent you over the edge. Well, uh, faithful for the uh, proto compliment. So you gotta jump it down there. Make sure you got a safe place through the land okay yeah well we already saw it already I mean that's uh, something we can we can uh, perfectly take protection whenever we just go in and take the um the diver below ground and then suddenly we can uh, find somewhere soft to land but ink okay so I, I, I don't know you call it ink or splat so this is boss of lock keys please all right well let's go ahead and take on this uh, first stage I mean there are more of the stages that we we had to keep knocking out Okay, so here we are. So let's go and destroy one of these bosses. So you want to get to uh, the, to the western side. That's a vault. There's a, a grab. Uh, there is grab that key and a lot of vault. Okay, now let's go and see where we find this, this vault. Okay, so this this vault looks like a bot. So aha, you activated in the ink rail. So now uh, don't panic uh, if you uh, let go of the L. You'll fall to your doom. So hold on tight. Gotcha. Okay, let's see what else is uh, going on around here. So, now this is a, a different new stage I'm looking at here. So far, to your glow, so I can uh, see the zapping from here. Or can you now? Well, lucky you, my guy. I mean, I'm just uh, toying around to see what else is going on here. So, Autocopter spotted, ink, uh, ink it up. Okay, so we're getting here is uh, these Autocopter that make a return. So remember, you can uh, slip it under or fruit great by pressing the ZL to get into swim form. Gotcha. Alright then. So uh, let's go ahead and, and figure out what we... Okay, yeah. So we used the key to go and put the um, the, the big... Uh, actually, we, we just put the big key into the, that gigantic vault. So uh, which by means, we can activate the switch to see what that's supposed to do. So well, well, well. Another vault to find the key. Alright, so let's go find that key. So if your Inca won't reach, uh, it's a small fry. Time to shine. Okay, so we go use small fry, and that go ahead and make a splat zip line. All right, so moving around this corner over here. So uh, what are we looking at here? Okay, wait a minute. So there is another of this uh, ink rail I'm looking at here. Oh yeah. So let's go ahead and, uh, and ink rail this so that we go zip line around, go around. And there are power is above it. And there is another key to the vault. Now, let's see. Now, I think we were supposed to go back this way. I mean, yeah, let's do that. Okay, and we need another another key for the vault. So, let's figure out where we want to go next. Okay, so we can... Oh, actually, hold on. So, we got here is more range. So, I think you can uh, jump up from the ink rail to another. It's uh, worth a shot. 
Well, yes, it definitely is worth a shot indeed. All right, so we got it's another key. So uh, don't worry about the um the, the low battery because I still I been uh I've been recording this on my second update of my walkthrough. So let's just go ahead and use small fry to the crack that uh, light bulb open, and there we have it. So which is a set free a third and only zapfish that we have a uh, set free. So there's like tons of these uh, zapfish going all over around here, and then it's flatlands. Keep it up, Agent Frieda. You're making me proud. Now, I don't want to ruffle your tentacles any further than they uh, already have been uh, ruffled, but... Well, the funny Octarians are freaky, freaking me out. I think that uh, we ought to consider calling some backup. Let me just uh, fire up the old communicator. Check, check. This is our color face. Over. Did you copy? Agent 2. Here, over. Wait, Gramps? Is that you? Where are you? Agent 1? It's Agent 2. Gramps. I had to wander off again. Over. Well, what are you? What are we waiting for, Agent Two? Oh, uh, let's go get collect him. Uh, Roger that. Stay fresh. Did they just uh, hand up on me? Agent, uh, these the days. Uh, am I right? So important. So impatient. Yeah. <laughs> I fuck you. Damn, now that this is all thing is a uh, busted. Oh well. Come on, let's go. Okay, so we just uh, finished the, um, the boss stage. So, let's see. Now, would this get, get any um any uh, way closer to the uh, the boss? I mean, let's find out. So, we are getting uh, something to uh, decorate a locker. So, we get here. It's, uh, it's a pack of cards. So, you're going to pick up uh, your cards at the lobby terminal and use them to, to, to play Table Turf Battle. Ooh, okay. Nice. The loot anchor there. Uh, you got a good eye. Both the things could be hidden. Now the small fry might uh, be a group bar, but I follow his uh, nose if I were you. Oh, well, hold on. What? Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I did not even see my own inkling character. It's a free. You, you still with me? You gotta be uh, more careful than that. Yeah, I know. I know. Hold on. Yeah, so I just uh, slipped into ooze there, which I wasn't supposed to do. Okay, so we're gonna probably stay balanced over here because, okay, so that one did swallow me whole. And then I just transformed into some. But some other fuzzball, I cannot, well, I couldn't tell what its name is, but uh, you know what? So, um, let's, um, practically balance this. Okay, so that only cost 200, so we go in and let the small fry go in uh, and eat up one of this, uh, fuzzball. So we, I was, uh, getting a little nervous there. Okay, so, what are they? Uh, can we, uh, stop them? Why... I bet we can. I mean, let's go ahead and knock, knock our sauce off. And let's go ahead and do one last stage. I don't know. I mean, we, we just uh, got to to get every single one of these stages done while we still can. Okay, so this uh, place is a pack with Octarian. Take aim and take them out. All right, well, let's uh, go and tour around this place and see what's going on. Okay, so I can fully control with the splashdown. So heads up, it's your free. Your special gate is full. You might have make a good use out of those walls. Let's see if you get any closer. All right, well, let's uh, keep at it. So, it's in case that we having trouble, I mean, we just go use small fry as a grenade to go attack enemies. All right, so let's go ahead and splat this area. So everything is uh, splatable. Okay, because this, this um, music of the soundtrack did like uh, change up a whole lot just to uh, get. So the, the music got even a lot better because uh, it, it know how to uh, turn up, turn up the um, the, the music like somehow you just listen to those sick beats. All right, now let's just uh, explore a little bit and check to see if there's anything that we don't miss around here. I mean, let's double check. I mean, we, we might as well go double check the place. So hold on, let me. So hold on, am I allowed to grab this small fry? Okay, well I don't think I can. So you thinking of just uh, jumping in there? Be careful. Okay, so so thank you for telling me that. So yeah, so we already get the, the idea. So you can actually go and sm uh, throw your small fry into the ground. I mean, that w may work in this game. Well, thank you for, for telling me that. For just a, for a reminder, so you only use the small fry and uh, a caper or something below, 
or something you need to throw in the far fetch. So let's free and clear up ahead and then that set up. It's set off, you mean. Okay. So ha, I knew it. That I won't be by the last of them. You can count on that. Stay on your toes. Alright, so let's go ahead and break some of these bosses. So that's enough out the two, but I see the, the, the saw. Okay, that's an, um, an Arterian behind. Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm seeing because there are several alt troopers. So there's always at least a one more hit hide out. That's a cut of fish guarantee. Okay, so let's just go ahead and break everything. So we're just breaking all of these loot. So you know what? I'll go ahead and throw my small fry right there. Well, okay, so it's not going to... Okay, I thought the small fry was going to explode. But okay, well, you know what? Okay, I don't, I don't care. Well, we'll leave that small fry there. Well done, look like you got a whole mess of a pillar moving. Why, right, thanks. I do appreciate it. Okay, so we're just planting everything but yellow. Okay, now let's go ahead and rise upward. So, we're getting here is uh, more of these, these auto trooper garden. Yeah, because this is a super fun 3D platform ride. I, I just couldn't lie because this looks like... This is way better than the second game. So, so the second to first, I mean, it's the, like the same kind of graph that they usually put together to just to make the other these uh these mechanics look so good and all. Because uh this, yeah, because this a whole new game is like it's just turning all things around. Because I kind of love how they done that. You're on a roll, nicely done, Agent Free. That's out of the be the last cattle, but I, but do but do you see uh, anything else that looks fishy around here? Not fishy I can know of. I mean, we might as well go check. Alright, well, let's just uh, keep finishing up. Or what we gotta be doing. Okay, so first, first ball, ahoy. I confirmed it with uh, my own bulk in the eye. It's a dead cent center in, in the eye. Okay, now let's go ahead and throw 1,000 power is. So that this uh, small fry can just go ahead and chow down all of this uh, fudge ball in one swallow. Incoming, something that heads this way. Okay, so what is this rocket? Okay! So DJ Octavio back. Yeah, I finally found you, Cuttlefish. My Octarian troops have gone missing. And I know you're behind it. Far he that blows me is the DJ Octavio. Up to your old Tris, eh? Give it a great zapfish back. Agent Free of this dirty DJ is a very headliner of the entire Arterian army. Take him out. What the spewing of nonsense and listen up. I'm about to drop my latest hit. Right on your smug little face. So we got Autobot King L3 point G3. Okay, so uh, it's another rematch he wants. It's another rematch he's gonna get. Okay, so now we're going for round three. Incoming uh, punch, uh, sh shoot the uh, back towards. Okay, hold on. So this is our first boss that we what, what we went to encounter. So let's see what what we're doing. Okay, so now we have to go take out the fist. Okay, well then, so be it. Uh, let's try it. So it just on your anchor can flip a bit of punch and send them flying back. Yeah, like we knew from uh, from the since uh, during the uh, the final boss. I mean. Somehow, whenever he throw one of his uh, fist rockets at us, then somehow we just go ahead and splat the and the fist back at it with his uh, knuckle punch of his. Now, what is he doing? Okay, so we have to go and quickly hit the um the, hit the hand and send it back flying to to one of his uh his his uh doodad uh whatever whatever we call it. Okay, well eventually whatever machine that he's riding on, I mean I cannot tell the difference. Okay, so now we can go take out Octavio. And that is uh, one of his health. I think that my beats are stuck, eh? Then you're going to lose. Okay, so now he's sucking up all of his uh, ink in his nose. Okay, so we're getting here. Uh, it's our second checkpoint. So I can't tell if we have any health available. Okay, so now what is it doing? Uh, what are you doing now? 
Okay, well, that, that looks far too dangerous. Uh, that uh, ink deck is a real pain in the port ball. Uh, can you throw something in there to jam it up? Oh, yeah, so we got small fry, so let's go use him. Oh, actually, wait, I think we want to put the weight until you throw something down. Okay, so now you got hands. Oh, okay, so hold on. So I think when. Uh, God, can't vacuum. Okay, so I think when he goes suck up and you go throw your small fry, that I'm seeing the, the pattern. Okay, so now you about to go and get back to the throwing knuckle fist at me. Alright, so you're gonna throw another. Okay, so now you're gonna drill his hand. And we have to go take out the weak spot. So, oops, small fry, I got lunch back out. So, keep your fish your junk out of my mat. Okay, so now I can understand my brain much smoothly. So, the small fry just got out of the, the machine. And now we have to go and. Throw the small fry back at it. Wait to plug him up, but small fry, I feel bad for the uh, little run, but it works. Okay, I think we got it. So we just uh, suck up like um, like we mean it. So let's uh, get stepping. Okay, so now this machine is growing more arms. So it's best to let that we go and hit the, um, the, the, the rocket back at it and go take out Octavio. Alright then, so uh, we're not doing too bad, not too bad at all. Gah, now you made me mad! Well, yeah, we're may making you mad, alright. So, we're making him insanity mad. Oops, he really is steam now. Keep your guard up. Okay, well, you may he may get a little harder, so uh, let's just uh, keep our guard guard up the slap uh, attack or send out shot wave. So, we have to try hopping over them, is what you mean? Okay, hold on. So we did. So I did like uh, throw another small fry to it. So it's, it's happening again. So oh, you know what? Welcome back to small fry. Don't get comfy. Uh, we're gonna lunch you again. Um. Okay. So I think because whatever he just go ahead and paw down his hands on the ground, then somehow this uh, shot wave go and sprout around. So we just go ahead and jump over the um the, the ink. Be on the shot ink. It's a. Uh, I'm just gonna call it the shot wave ink. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. So I'm I'm all out. So I need to get more juice. Oh, actually, hold on. So the small fry is still holding the other four. Okay. So we go take out Octavio, and he's out of commission. Every time, so sad. Okay, so that's uh, one of his uh, balls to defeat it. Well, uh, I remember because um, in Splatoon 1 and 2, he used to be the final boss, and now in, the, uh, in Splatoon 3, so he's not the final boss in this game. Well, during your uh, your first start at the Splatlands. Get no fear, your gear is uh, way too strong. You put on a weak show, Octavio. Uh, your set list is uh, getting old, or maybe it's just you. Seriously, uh, that's uh, what's too easy. It's uh, like you weren't even uh, using the great Zapfish power. Beat this fool, I didn't steal the Zapfish this time. What? You didn't? But if it wasn't you, then who was it? What the? What the use? Is it free? Help me! Okay, so all my clothes are just uh, ripped to shreds, I and mean, then it just. <laughs> Well, it's, it's kind of weird, weird actually, but kind of like a, a funny way because my clothes got got tear off. Okay, look who's back. Well, not technically. Well, no. Look who's... Well, they're, they're not actually back. Well, that's something we, we didn't met before. Okay, so now it's going to, to bring up this uh, title of Splatoon 3, right? Okay, here it is. That is Splatoon 3 for y'all. <laughs> Alright, so let's go press on A. So, it's a little bit more like um, some game, like, um, what's the this new game called? No Man's Sky, is that what it's called? Or is it 
the the new is it the outer world okay well you know what we'll just look at it here because you got here it's a gigantic doom the gigantic dome and it's the whole dome is made of glass i see hello hey agent free over here Woo, I'm so glad you're all right. You are agent free, right? Grant a fully enlisted you and you're a small fry. Yeah, I knew it. I see it with a look in your eye that he's all, you're always looking for. Well, it's a nice to meet you. I guess that we should introduce ourselves. I'm agent one of the new squid beat the platoon. Hey, I'm agent two. Come on, agent two. Get the pump anyway. One last crew member to introduce it. This is our captain. We're with a new, new Squid Beach platoon. Okay, so these are two cousins got a new recruit. Ahem. Anyway, it's a little like uh, you and the Gramps that got separated in that, that fall. It's a place that's huge and it's a filled with the, uh, that horrible uh, fuzzy ooze stuff. And uh, now we had to find Gramps before he uh, like tasted it or something. Uh, you make it sound like it's uh, not going to be fun. But seriously, please help us look for Gramps. So, uh... Okay, so what? Oh, they're in. Probably just too excited about the looking for someone else or Grandpa to speak. So Gramps are really in a new Agent Free. I'm glad to have you. We've never been here before either, but they're here for the tour anyway. We have been to this place is called Alterna. Who knew it's a had it, who knew it was a beneath the crater this whole time? We count the city different the island so far. What should we call them? Sites or something? Oh, are you uh, even gonna mention that the humongous uh, rocket over there? Look at that. Way to steal my thunder. Anyway, we put a tracking device on Gramps as uh, one does. But uh, now we're getting a strong signal from three different areas. Agent Freeza, your mission is to check all three of those places out. We upgraded your map a little bit. Tell us how much you love it. Um, okay, that's cool. Now it's a chance to have the places that you already visited and it lights up when you're near anything interesting. Like when I'm nearby, or buried treasure, I guess. We're here to look for Grant, not treasure. And I hardly think Agent Freeza needs a, okay, college treasure anyway. Wait, Agent Free is uh, totally out of power edge. Do you lose them all in the fall? Guys, so your hero suit is uh, all messed up too. Oh, don't be dramatic. I mean, sure, Agent Free will have to collect power edge and upgrade from scratch. Hmm, I guess an explanation will help. First, uh, they'll need a sardinium to unlock assets at the different types of upgrade. Okay, so now we're still moving back to our sardinium now. And then they can uh, spend upgrade points to do the uh, actual upgrade. There gotta be some sardinium down here in the alterna, right? If uh, someone, uh, if anyone can find it, it's agent free. Wait, did you tell agent free uh, how to actually get the upgrade points? No, I'm on it. Agent free just to uh, ink a lot of stuff uh, and find items. I guess that it isn't uh, rocket science, which is uh, a shame because uh, it seems like uh, we need, we might need some rocket science. Never mind that for now. I'm getting a strong gram to like a signal from the Nesta site over. Go check it out. Okay then. Well, you know what? So it just seems like uh, that we have this uh, new future. If we go press a minus. So it just seems like to me because dang, dude. Okay. So it just felt like that we can go ahead and take a picture. So we can go ahead and move left to right, up and down. Or we can go ahead and tilt the camera. And we have rotated. Okay. Well, this looks like kind of cool. So you know what? Let's go take a picture right now. Alright, well, it looks kind of like a, 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 a beautiful a, a beautiful picture to, to be taken in this uh, whole bizarre place. Okay, so in the future, Utopia Island is where we are. So let's go ahead and end the, uh, the photo shot. And let's go ahead and call it quit. So I believe that's going to be all that you guys some next time on Splitting Free. We're going to go ahead and chat down to see what else is going on around here. So... And we are look at here because damn this is cool okay this is the, well i can go ahead and move my uh, motion control so, so, so that you can see because this um this pink 
green. Okay, well, as you can see, the, the pink circle. Okay, the, it, it allows you to go ahead and choose whatever wh whatever you want to go upgrade. I mean, that's uh, kind of cool, actually. So, here we are now. So, we're in the future Utopia Island. So, uh, we'll go ahead and seek out wisdom just to see what else is going on in, in here. And we'll try to see if we can, uh, like, get on to the uh, rocket. Right? We go ahead and take off to the uh, to the outer world where we go ahead and take off space just to go ahead and knock out as many stages as possible. Well, actually, hold on. Now, I really think we should go ahead and take on the, the future Utopia Island first and then go get to the rocket. But we got a long distance ahead of us, so we, we, we somehow we, we might as well look to see what's going to happen on the next series, you guys. So you don't go anywhere, and you will be able to stay tuned on the next video. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and uh, watching this brand new episode. So if you're enjoying the series, you want to see more of, of uh, Splitting Free, be sure to leave an advertise a like, share the video, and subscribe. And if you have already subscribed to, to the channel already, please do ring that notification bell. So that you stay, stay up there and notified when my news and awesome videos up at the way. So just making sure you guys are staying tuned in and by all means all of you should want to be in the description or fill down below. So if you'd like to help support the series, you're more than welcome to read, read them step by step. Just to help get you on started on support my channel and front the series. So that's going to be all it for Blitzing Free. We'll be picking up more on the next one. So take care guys. I hope to talk to you on the next video.